first concept is a free body diagram. So in this first image, the hand is sliding down the window. So the gravitational force and the weight pulls it downwards. And then the friction force goes in the opposite direction, which means the friction force is in the upwards direction. And as for the normal force, since it is perpendicular to the window, the normal force goes to the right. The second concept is Newton's law of motion. The first law is the law of inertia. It states that if a body is at rest or moving at a constant speed, it will remain as such unless it is acted upon by an unbalanced force. So, for example, in this image, if there is no unbalance and or external force, the cart will not move because of the law of inertia. So the second law states that force is equal to the mass of an object multiplied by its acceleration. So for example, in this image, if the object has an acceleration of 10 meter per second squared and the mass is 65 kilograms, then the force will be 650 joules. So for the law of action-reaction, it states that when two bodies interact, they apply forces to one another that are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So in this image, if the action is pushing the card forward, then the reaction is the body gets pushed in the opposite direction, or to the back. So the third concept is conservation of energy. The law states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but may be changed from one form to another. So potential energy is stored energy that depends upon the relative position of the object. So in this image, since Jin is standing on the chair and is suspended above the ground, he will have a potential energy. So since Jin is standing on the chair, he will have a high potential energy. So to calculate this, potential energy is equal to mass times gravitational force times height. So that would equal to 315 joules. For kinetic energy, it is an energy that an object has due to its motion. In this case, Jin is standing still, therefore he is not producing any form of motion. Since Jin is standing still and having no acceleration, he will have a low kinetic energy. So to calculate this, kinetic energy is equal to half times mass times velocity to the power of 2. So that would equal to 0 joules. So for mechanical energy, it is the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy and is also a constant in the system. So since mechanical energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy, the mechanical energy in this image will be 315 joules. So potential energy can be transformed into other forms of energy, such as kinetic energy. So in this image, Jin has moved to the ground. So let's try and calculate the acceleration that it took for him to move to the ground. So the things that we know is that the mass is 63 kilograms, the mechanical energy is 315 joules, and the potential energy is 0 joules. So first we need to figure out what the kinetic energy is. So 315 minus 0 is 315. And then to calculate the acceleration, we need to use the formula for kinetic energy. So in the end, it will result to 105 is equal to V squared. So in order to get V, you need to root 105, which results to 10.25 meter per second squared.